so glad you've come to the Seed the Bloom Botanical and Community Garden. My name is Claire Thorne. And we, as you can hear, we have a lot of traffic going by on State Route 42. So I'll do my best to speak loud enough for you um, over the traffic, or I may need to pause a couple of moments while the trucks go by. Um, just a little bit of history about our botanical garden. We were ready to open our botanical garden in November of 2019. However, a misfortunate contractor error happened and our building was burnt to the ground. Um, so we learned that um, we were gonna have a new building constructed. So that's what you're seeing today. And um, we had a couple other neat features that you'll see while you're in the garden today. And we can talk about that as we go about in the garden. This is called our learning barn. So this is where today we will start our activity and we'll end here. We'll be outside for about 45 minutes, um, but at any time, should you need the restroom or need to leave, you're welcome to uh, leave. Uh, just maybe wave your hand that you'd be leaving. And then again, the restrooms are right behind me on the sides of the learning barn. So, why don't we introduce ourselves? Again, my name is Claire Thorne. I am um, an Extension Associate for CSU Extension. And my job is to offer these really cool and educational programs here in the Botanical Garden. Well, we start with you. Lena, hi Lena, it's nice to meet you. And who have you brought with you? Oh, you brought your children, Harold and Jay. And Ella, nice to meet you. And who do we have here? Hope, Hope Taft. Hope is one of our Ohio former first ladies. So as we say, we have royalty in the crowd. Hope works a lot with native plants and she's come today to see our garden for the very first time. Leora, hey Leora, thanks for coming. She's one of my student workers. She's come to help observe the program and participate. And um, we have Jeremy, who is another co-worker, so that's great. Thank you, Jeremy, for coming. And Tosca, oh my gosh, you brought your boys, Grafton and Mason. So great to meet you guys for the very first time. So I just want to make certain we are going to be out in the garden for about 45 minutes. Does anybody have their hats, gloves? You can see I don't have a hat, but I do have a hood. So sometimes the winds shift and you might want to be comfortable. We're going to be here just in the garden. It's a small garden, so no worries. We can't get lost. So we're going to talk about the garden, winter gardens provide interest, aesthetic value to people, but at the same time, it's providing food sources and shelter for wildlife. So let's take a look around the garden. What do you see? Mason? Oh, you see those tall grasses. Okay, yes. Do you see how those plants move? That's what I'm talking about, winter interest. When the wind blows, those plants are moving. So it just doesn't look like the garden is dead for the winter. What else do you think you can see around the garden? You think some of the animals could be hiding in these tall grasses? More important, what about food? Do you see those seed heads? Those seeds provide ample food for birds especially. So, I have my next question for you. How many of you have ever played bingo? Oh, I see that everybody has. Great, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to give each team a clipboard and we're going to go around the garden together if you wish or we can break out in our teams and you're going to be looking for these items and as we go around if you hear this sound whoop, 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 that means I want us all to gather together because there might be something really cool to talk about. So, just before I send you to your car, because I see a couple of you need your hats and gloves, I also want to make certain that everybody has signed in for me. 
These sign-in sheets are just really super important for extension because they tell our funders, federal and state agencies, that we are doing our educational programs and we're reaching the audiences that we are supposed to reach. So make certain you sign in on the sheet. Go get your hats and gloves and I'll meet you over by the parking lot and I'll bring these clipboards with me when we get together. There's no rhyme or reason to how you do this. Okay. But you can go around the garden just on your own and explore the garden since they've never been here before. Or we can go as a group to try and find things as we walk along. I'm gonna give you guys charge of the clipboard. Okay. So these are kinds of the things we're gonna be looking for. Okay? So when you think you find something, you're gonna tell me that you see it and then the whole idea of bingo is to try to get five in a row up and down or across or it can be diagonal. So, when you go to climb a tree, you want to look for the vine. You want to look for the hairy vine. You don't want to touch it, because that's poison ivy. Poison ivy grows as a plant, little. It can grow as a vine up the tree. And like um, Grafton was saying, leaves the three, let me be. Poison ivy can also grow as a tree in different parts of the country. Bingo! Oh! <laughs> I got it finally. Tree damage. Well, we tree damage! Far. You find tree damage on here? <laughs> oh, we got bingo again! Woo! -hoo! You can't even track of how many bingos you have? Two so far. <laughs> See how this nut is chewed? It's on chewed on both sides of the nut, right? Yeah. That's so they can get into the meat of the nut. I just have a few questions for you. How did you notice that plants provide food or shelter for wildlife? Oh, Grafton, you, you mentioned the walnut. That's great. And who do you guys think might have eaten that walnut? Mason? You're right, a squirrel, a squirrel. Okay, did you have any plants that caught your attention? Maybe they were unique, they had color, they had movement. Did the garden look like it was just dead? That's right, winter gardens aren't dead. They're alive, especially when you see those grasses moving with the winds. Tell you what, this is what I want you to do. I want you to go home today, look at your garden, visit a library or go online. See what kind of plants you might want to add to your garden to add winter interest or to help wildlife. Come back to our Seed to Bloom Botanical Garden programs. That helps me reach our mission for Central State Extension. Reaching our communities, providing educational programs on agriculture, horticulture or gardening. We also have reflection boxes that you've noticed in the garden. Write any comments or thoughts you have, how you might have been inspired. Put those in the reflection boxes and we'll read those. Here's something else you can do. Plant native plants. They provide food sources for wildlife, 
most of all, they help with water conservation, which means you don't have to water your plants in the heat of summer, and that helps save the water bill. You can also get involved as a volunteer at a garden or at a park. And when you volunteer, you help those organizations reach their mission. You can even volunteer with us at Extension. 4-H is looking for uh, volunteers. You can even volunteer to be here in the garden. Have you noticed this kiosk behind us? That has all the upcoming programs that we'll be offering here. So check those out and please attend those. You can also email me or ask to be put on the program email list. When you signed in today, some of you may have put your email. We can put a star by that and that way I'll know you want the uh, program information sent to you. And of course we have a website that you can visit for other program information. So before you leave, I would like you to fill out an eval sheet. Um, this evaluation helps me to know if I've reached my goal for today or reached your um, goal for today. And in exchange for this evaluation, I have a variety of seed packets that you can choose to take home to add to your garden, to help wildlife, or to help add interest to your garden. And of course, you'll wait till spring to plant those seeds. Thank you so much for coming today. Please remember to turn in that evaluation. I'll hang out for another 10 minutes should you have some other questions. Otherwise, you're welcome to spend more time in the garden or go on home. And I'll see you next time in the garden. Bye.